okay, the nine money habits keeping you poor. Now, most of what we do with our everyday money is unconscious. In this video, I'll share the most common bad money habits and how you can actually break them. Hello, and welcome to Sanctuary Educate podcast, where we will talk all things mindset, money management, and our entrepreneurial journey. Along the way, we're going to throw in some amazing guests for your pleasure. I'm Shane Highland. I'm Gareth Shears. This show is going to change your life and teach you skills that school never taught you. Boom. So personal finance and money is a huge topic which is coming through the UK at the moment and that is why we wrote our book Influences which is all about that. We'll link to that book in the bio at the bottom. You'll find out a little bit more about the best ways to manage your money going forward. So now we're going to cover the habits that are making you poor. Number one, paying yourself last. So save your money first. The book Rich Dad Poor Dad really explains this really well. And it's about getting into a habit of saving first, even if it's just 1% of what you actually earn to start saving. But actually put some money away instead of spending all the way through the month and then going, I've got nothing left over to save. If you start out with the right habit in the right way, you'll get to where you want to get to and build that real, real wealth. Number two, bad debt. Debt in the UK is becoming the norm and it's frightening. And what I say is unless you can really afford it, do not put it on credit. The problem is there's so many options out there. When you go onto your online shopping, you'll have Klarna coming up where you can pay for it over three months. You'll have PayPal options to pay it over three months. You can even buy your takeaways now with Klarna which is really, really worrying. So you can actually go on the likes of Deliveroo and companies like that and get your takeaway on credit. This is a terrible trend. So what I'm saying is try and get as best you can into not taking out bad debt. And what I mean by bad debt, that is your likes of your Klarna's, your kind of credit cards with high interest. Things like cars and houses, that's not so much bad debt. That's the normal debt we kind of expect to have. But we just need to avoid racking up debt for these things that we don't really need build that emergency fund or buffer have a rainy day fund ready so we always encourage our clients to have a short and medium and long-term pots the short-term one is for like if the boiler breaks down or if you have problems with your car you've got to get that mot sorted you've got to have a service all those things which you suddenly need money for you don't want to be putting on credit so learning to save for the rainy day fund is a great way forward number four not knowing your income and expenses so not knowing your numbers is terrible. You need to start budgeting. Get yourself a basic budget planning spreadsheet and start from there. Know what's coming in each month and know what's going out each month. If you don't know these numbers, how can you plan for the future and how can you build that wealth you really want to do? So we have a free downloadable guide that you can get within our portal on the Sanctuary Etiquette, which will be down in the notes below for you to be able to download a spreadsheet for the benefit of helping you budget. But budgeting is the key. If you don't know your numbers, you're really gonna to struggle to save. Number five, spending money on those expensive hobbies is becoming a big issue. Social media creates this horrendous FOMO, fear of missing out. Now, I'm not saying don't treat yourself, but just don't fall into that trap of having really expensive hobbies and spending money on things which actually don't really make you that happy. There's so many things you can do out there for free or for cheaper, which make those real lasting memories. You know, don't just do it for the gram. Don't just take these expensive hobbies so you can take a lovely photo so the people on your social media can look at you and think, wow, that's amazing. It's got to make you happy. Okay, so don't just follow what everyone else is doing. Do what's right for you. Number six, saving to build real wealth. Now, to build wealth, you need to save more. But you can't save more if you don't earn enough to save more. So you need that combination of getting the right income coming in and the ability to save more. 
So sometimes you have got to look to get that pay rise, go for that bonus, just so that you can save that extra bit of money to help you grow your wealth. Number seven, paying too much taxes. Now, everyone moans about the wealthy who don't pay as much tax, but that's because they use tax advisors to legitimately get rid of tax. They're not doing things illegally. Now, there's things you can do, like using pensions and ISAs, which are great tax savers for you. And also, if you're a business owner, you're maybe you're in the wrong structure. If you're a sole trader, you're paying a lot of tax, you're earning a lot of money, maybe you should be a limited company. But that's why you need to speak to the professionals or do your research first because everyone can save money on taxes we don't have to pay the government all that money and it is legitimate you're not dodging money you're doing it with legitimate ways to do it number eight waiting too long to invest start investing for the long term as soon as you can let's look at an example if you typically took 100 pound that you spent on a saturday night out drinking and save that each month at the age of 20 to the age of 60 and you save that with for example an eight percent return we can't guarantee that your money would be worth circa three hundred and fifty thousand pound when you come to the age of 60. now look what happens if you start at the age of 30 and save that hundred pound until the age of 60. that money would be worth 150,000 roughly exactly the same figures but that 10 year difference you've basically slashed it in under half. So get saving early, and if you really want to build that wealth, you've got to make those sacrifices. So that one night out on a Saturday where you may spend £100 on your taxis, your food, your drinks, the day after McDonald's because you're feeling hungover, one weekend just stop that and save that money, and that will set you in the right direction on the right habits to create real wealth. And finally, number nine, not caring. If you don't care about this, then you will not be able to build real wealth. And if you don't know how to do it, find yourself a good money coach who can help you. For example, we have an online portal which will help you build your wealth. It's not about just about investing. It's about creating the right behavioral habits to make sure that you are best set up to grow your wealth for the future. You'll get loads of hints and tips, but find yourself somebody to make you accountable. Because if you're not made accountable, you probably won't do it. And you'll continue spending that £100 on a Saturday, every single Saturday, getting drunk, and then the following day hungover. But if you just make those little tweaks to your life, you can change it. So that was the nine habits that are currently making you poor. Make some small changes and you can change your life forever. <music> Thanks for listening, and if you enjoyed this episode, then please subscribe and remember to follow us on social media for more content like this.